Police and the justice system are under scrutiny tonight over the botched investigation into the death of a 21-year-old. Josh Warnocky was bashed and dumped on the side of a road, but murder charges were dropped because of the police handling of the case. It's another cruel twist for Josh's mother. Ingrid Bishop had been fighting for her son for years and again this mother feels let down by the system. No family should go through this. I feel that we've lost the whole thing here of justice for Joshua. Josh Warnicke's shirtless and battered body was found on the side of Old Broom Road in 2010. Jean Gibson was charged over the 21-year-old's death. Just weeks away from a murder trial, that charge has been dropped. A Supreme Court judge found police involved in the case carried out unfair interviews with the 21-year-old. Justice Stephen Hall said Gibson should have been given an interpreter because he speaks basic English. From the outset, there was no offer of a lawyer, a right to silence or that answers that he gave could be used in evidence. As for the incompetence in relation to the, the process leading up to it. This was years in the making in it, and for, for the family uh, to be in this situation is diabolical. An opinion shared by the Attorney General. Well, I'm disappointed in any prosecution that fails because, of, uh, because protocols and appropriate procedures haven't been, uh, been followed. Michael Mission has demanded a full report from the Department of Public Prosecutions. No doubt the police will be looking at their systems to see how they can be improved and to work out what went wrong. And they have. The police commissioner has ordered a full internal investigation which will be overlooked independently by the Corruption and Crime Commission. As for those officers involved, there was no response as to whether they've been stood down. Gibson will be sentenced next month after pleading guilty to the lesser charge of manslaughter. For Josh's mum, no amount of time will ease her pain. I grieve every day for my child and I will continue to. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.